Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork, uh, where door hardware nerds get together, we knock and we slam on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry because those door fells are so bad. But most importantly, we have fun while we learn a little bit about doors. Um, today, we've got a very special guest. Mr. Anderson. Um, that's my very best impression. I'm sure you haven't heard that one. Um, yeah. Andy Anderson, uh, I gotta give him a shout out. He's one of the original dorks. I tried to scroll back and see where he first originally started like following and like commenting mm -hmm. on my door dork posts and I couldn't go back that far. So he's, oh, he's been yeah. the OG uh, door, door dork. So welcome Andy. Um, why don't you introduce yourself, uh, tell us what your company you work for, and um, maybe a fun fact. I don't know. Let's mix it up a little bit. Sure, yeah. So my name is Andy Anderson. Um, people often don't believe that my name is Andy Anderson. Um, I work for o and Door Systems. We do commercial uh, pedestrian doors, um, and uh, we do residential stuff, you know, too. We'll help out anybody. We also do overhead doors and docks, and, um, and so, I, I mean... We, I've expanded my knowledge just being here because it's not just pedestrian doors and where I grew up doing security and hardware and, um, and stuff like that. So uh, I've always been excited to be here and every day I smile. So I'm not, and uh, try to bring in the revenue. That's awesome. Pedestrian doors are a whole nother beast. Of, yeah. If you come from like the integration or the, um, uh, contract hardware side of things, that's that's different from pedestrian doors. There's so many more codes and compliance and knowledge that you have to be um, aware of. So you, yeah. you are truly knowledgeable, I'm sure. So I'm glad to have you. <laughs> on the show. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, about, fun fact. Fun yeah. fact. Let's try that. Um, well, I have a twin brother. Um, we're not identical. People will refute that endlessly. Um, and he finally is becoming a dork he's a dork in the making he finally left his job and a few years ago started doing doors with me um and then i sent him on his way to a different company with uh some friends of ours and uh um all of us we like to do uh forging for mushrooms and disc when we're not in front of openings i guess disc golf nice, nice. Disc i carry golf. my bag in my truck <laughs> um i have a much smaller bag you must have a you're probably more into it than i am and um, as always, you know her, you love her, Mia Merrill. Mia Merrill. Happy to be here. Yeah. Fun fact. You want to know it? I yeah, came up with a new one. one. Yes. Cool. I used to do and hope to get back to one day once my kids are older, uh, antique tractor pulls at fairs. What? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. John Deere for life. Better dead than red. <laughs> that's a good knock i am assuming in the pacific northwest this is not uh popular however i was thinking the minnesota area especially with county fairs and stuff like that i i <laughs> actually my grandpa and i when we were kids and stuff he had an internet an old international mm. that we drove around a lot um he re he never wanted to go the john deere way yeah my grandpa and i yeah. did the pulls together and we had a fleet of john deere's Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, tractor pulling. That's, that's crazy. So for those who don't know how Unhinged works, um, I will throw up a picture on our screen. We will knock and we'll slam on the door. We'll give our uh, uh, helpful tips or learning opportunities and we'll give it a, a knocking score. One being not too knocking bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Like this needs to be immediately addressed, like, let's call the AHJ or the fire marshal and get this taken care of. Um, Always wanted to do that. <laughs> this is a violation. And they, they're they more than often going to call back just on that premise, whether it's related to it or not. I try to be honest. That's good. That's, that's a good way to live life in general. Try to be honest. <laughs> uh, honest Andy. It's not a jingle. Okay. Ta-da! Are you ready? Are you waiting for it? Are we ever ready? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm ready for this one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a quick fix for you. At first glance, <laughs> you might have noticed there is a larger reader behind a smaller reader. The I larger reader has a, has a growth going on it. It's like a baby. It's, a, it's like a spore coming off of it. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure out 
what the duct tape is for. Is it to, is the larger reader falling apart and it's trying to keep it together? Or are they taping the smaller reader onto the larger reader or all of the above? <laughs> Probably oh. a little bit of all of the above. God, that is awful. These old HID readers, back in the day, you could like hold your prox card like six feet away and it would still catch you. And so you could have it attached to your car. You could drive by. Um, my guess is why they put the updated reader on there uh, is they probably upgraded their uh, credential and that's, they just didn't do the work properly, you know, to actually take off the old reader and terminate the new reader. I mean, the electrical tape makes it seem like they are definitely holding something up, but it's, it's so tacky. I mean, a reader on a reader is not tacky. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely tacky. But <laughs> I completely agree. I hate, they got these massive ones that are like 12 by 12 everywhere. And then they always, eventually they downsize to this little petite one that's like inch and three quarter. It's just like, dude, do it right. Do, do it right or don't do it at all. What if Fast. it's just like VH bead on there? What if they just like. <laughs> yeah. And then two weeks later in the, when the snow came, they had to put the, the electrical tape on. At some point, like being the technician to work on this, they, they had to like drill through that old reader to get the wire termination because that's not a wireless reader. That's just like, a, right. imagine Thanks. being called out to do that job, Andy, and like pulling out your drill. <laughs> like, I'm just going to drill through this and find the cords. <laughs> this is how they want it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly, stuff like this, I tell them, no way. You saw, you can find somebody else to scab it, but. I, I have integrity or at least um, integrity enough to tell them the truth, but like I've had pride in my work and this would not be a prideful experience. I agree. That's a good mentality to have. Okay. Knocking scores one through 10. What do you guys think? Um, Mia, do you want to go first? I'm still debating. Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's ugly, but I don't know if it violates anything right. other than, I mean, we violated the big reader for sure. Um, <laughs> but I think it's, it's other than aesthetics, it's low. So I, I maybe like a, a, a three, four, I don't know in that range. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I would go with a two, but if we were judging it by beauty and, uh, but it's <laughs> hideous and I, 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 I walk away. Yeah. All it's missing is like, uh. A pa paper clip and some duct tape and you, someone MacGyver might this. Well just tape, yeah, might as well put the paper clip, the, um, the, your fob right next to it so you know where to use it. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know this installation, if it was a keypad, you know uh, that code would be taped up. Yeah. To it. <laughs> yes, it would. Or, or written out with a Sharpie on yeah. the big people. <laughs> yep. Okay, are you guys ready for the next one? 